this hour, doctors are working to save the life of this 20-year-old National City man after he collided with a car while riding his skateboard tonight. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. It all happened around 8.15 tonight at the intersection of East 18th Street and Highland Avenue in National City. Tenders reporter Preston Phillips is live at UC San Diego Medical Center in Hillcrest right now with who police say was at fault. Preston. Well, Steve, National City Police say 20 year old Manuel Augustino was skateboarding against that red light when he slammed into the car, suffering major injuries. Police say he did not regain consciousness at the scene. He was then rushed here to UCSD Medical Center in Hillcrest. When paramedics arrived on scene, National City Police say 20 year old skateboarder Manuel Augustino was unconscious and had sustained significant injuries, a compound fracture of his leg, and possibly some closed head trauma. Police say he didn't regain consciousness while at the scene. According to Augustino's skateboarding buddy, Augustino jumped the curb on a skateboard as he was entering this intersection, then bailed, avoiding one car but not another. He got scared against he wasn't going to make it. He, he held out this way to try to jump into the back on the street on the sidewalk, and that's when the Dodge came in. He didn't see the Dodge right behind it. Augustino rolled up onto the hood of this black Dodge Charger, smashed the windshield, then rolled back off the hood. According to police, the driver of the car was going approximately 30 miles per hour when Augustino came roaring through the intersection of 18th and Highland against a red light. Police say it appears Augustino was at fault. And back out here live, we're still working to find out how Augustino's doing. Meantime, police say the driver of that black Dodge Charger was taken to the National City Police Station for questioning. They say he will not be arrested. At the same time, they say drugs or alcohol neither seem to be involved in this crash. Reporting live tonight from Hillcrest, Preston Phillips, 10 News.